the bustling metropolis of Shanghai plays host to the next stop on the ATP World Tour with five former top ten players in action at the Shanghai Rolex Masters on Monday. Number 10 seed Andy Roddick returned to winning ways both on tour and against a man who defeated him in their most recent outing at Wimbledon 2010. The American bounced back from an opening round loss in Beijing last week, but needed three sets to battle past Chinese Taipei qualifier Yen Sun Lu to reach the second round for the third year running. Well, it was very close to that single sideline there, and Lu turned around and had a little look at the linesman, but didn't have the courage to challenge. I'm going to probably have to adjust how I go about things a little bit more, you know, running you know, my, myself into a wall with, with work and everything else. It, I don't know that I can do that without getting hurt. It's happened, you know, numerous times this year. So, um, you know, I might have to, to work smarter from now on. Earlier in the day, two unseeded players, Ernest Gulbis and former world number three, David Nalbandian met, with both looking for a first victory at this tournament. Nicely done. Uh, can't do it any better than that. Really good one-two combination. That first serve getting Gobus well off the court. Buoyed by his contribution to Argentina's run to the Davis Cup final, now Bandian appears to have put his injury woes behind him to record his first regular tournament win here, six years after taking the Masters Cup crown in Shanghai. Yeah, I think I, I play very good. Um, I get a break in the first set that I couldn't handle my serve and gets a little complicated. But um, after that, I think I play I play very good, aggressive, um, try to push uh, w with my return every time that he misses uh, his first serve, and uh, I, I play very good. Two players reached the quarterfinals last week, Kevin Anderson in Beijing and Bernard Tomic in Tokyo, thus reaching their highest ranking to date. They enjoyed a fierce battle with the Australian Tomic eventually crossing the line after two and a half hours. 16 seed Fernando Vadasco faced wildcard Jay Lee in their first meeting, with the Spaniard looking to rediscover the sort of form that has seen him end the last two seasons firmly inside the top ten. A runner-up three times on tour this year, the world number 24 broke twice in each set to record his first victory in three attempts in Shanghai. That's good. He will now meet fellow Spaniard Juan Carlos Ferrero after he saw off Mikhail yeah, Yuzny in straight yeah, sets. No matter what your opponent's ranked, Lee, remember, is uh, 358 in the world. Badasco's still happy to get the W. Great experience for the Chinese. Uh, obviously nowhere near good enough to compete with somebody like the 16th seed. So Vadasco, a pretty comfortable winner in the end. An hour and 17 minutes. 6-2. 6-2. American qualifier Donald Young defeated another wildcard Mao Zin Gong to reach the second round in his first Masters 1000 event outside North America since turning professional in 2004. The 22-year-old enjoying his best season on tour will now face Stanislas Vavrinka of Switzerland. Round one will be completed on Tuesday as more seeds enter the fray for round two action at the Shanghai Rolex Masters.